Ayun. Nice. All right. Let's see. I just formatted my computer last weekend. I think everything is working fine. Volume is up. Mic is up. All right. I am going to play Starfield. Then I might do some TFT around 10 o'clock. We need to go plat again on TFT. Mm, let's hope it's working and I don't have to fix the, vo the volume. Ayun, my volume. Nice. Let's go. All right. So around the weekend, I've been playing Starfield and I fucked up. I fucked up badly. I am now a mem a pledge member of the Crimson Fleet. I am now a pirate. I am not one of the good guys anymore. Napanindigan ko yung pagiging bounty hunter ko. That sucks, but that is the point of why I chose the bounty hunter. <coughs> so, I actually forgot where I left off last night. Oh, well, did I play last night or last Sunday? Oh, wait, it was last night. Because I was supposed to stream last night, but I got tired. So I need to explore the area. Is my inventory full? Ah, semi. It is semi full. Got some new orders for me? I'll take what you need me to. Uh, bring some of my stuff, sir. Oh, wait. You also have a full inventory. Oh, no. You don't have enough. Okay. Let's see. I have so many ano pala? loads here. That I should be putting on my storage. Even some weapons. Damage. else resources take some of my stuff okay I'm to explore farewell
So my new objective here is every time I go to a new planet, I have to fully scan the area. So that I don't have to come back again. Make sure man, you don't get views like this in the big city. I'm proud. Welcome to our little slice of paradise. It's nice to have a visitor. I used to be an explorer too, but then I... So many. I hope you'll think about buying something from our shop. The business. Bobby pins. Uh, Bobby pins. Uh, Digilock. I used to make yourself at home. Nice industries. to see a friendly face. Or Boy, am I glad to be out of the rat race. If it's all the same to you, I need my space. Not the Now that I've lived here for a few years, I can't imagine going back to Gagarin Landing. Okay, move away. I have to get the digipick. Come on, move away. Come on, walk. There you go. I never think about my old life unless someone like you comes along. Any news from the rest of the saddle systems? Actually, I came here with my family when I was a kid. I hated it back then. Now it feels like home. It's hard to stay informed out here, but I've learned not to miss Hold it. Move faster, huh? have to steal your money come on old lady go out I being a homesteader is a hard one Don't attack me. 
just want to scan you. Sabi ko nang don't attack me eh. the starship trooper looking mofo is that i don't know man i am just scanning some life here ito are you friendly how are you pit Bad guy ka din? You gonna attack me as well? Alright Ito malungkot I missed out on Post Malone concert Ah oo oh, kasi today yun right? Akala ko Wait, I think you told me that you're gonna watch. Weren't you able to buy the ticket? Oh, yesterday. Too long, Saj. You could have told me. Somebody was offering me a ticket, but I didn't. I didn't feel like going. I was not hindi maka-log in sa ticket area tapos kung kailan pwede na sold out na yung ticket I have a friend who works in production na meron silang ano VIP tickets na binibenta lang nila ng mura I think he was offering it to me for 2.5 lang VIP tickets I was not uh, yeah Sana sinabi mo sa akin, nakala ko kasi may ticket ka na eh. I didn't go there. I didn't go to the concert. Di ba nga sabi ko sa'yo before, I used to watch concerts like yung mga uh, Poet in Cambria. Tapos at some point, I was offered to watch Deftones but I chose not to go. Tapos magkano lang naman yung mga ticket. tayo sa ganyan pit sa mga concerts you just have to let me know what you want wait kain lang ako dinner BRB okay wait lang I just started din naman go eat
amphibious life forms. The shallow marine water is very common in the What should we develop? Let's see. Crafty make food, drinks, and drugs, weapon mod, or equipment. It's a physical. Let's get physical. physical. Environment condition. That's a stealth meter. You're 25% more difficult to detect with sneaking. Where my last save is.
shot. What the hell? Na bot? I don't take photos of people. Sorry. Whoa! What the? Oh, oh! You nearly scared me to death. I never encounter anyone while I'm out here. I love it too. I've been here a few times. <coughs> survey on this planet because I am not sure if I can come back to later.
again. Uh, fuck, kala yun ng auto save ko. Okay, don't wanna explore this planet again. Fucking shit. Hmm. Okay, at least I'm here. I forgot. I do for you? Looks to me like you've already in Oh wait. I'm sure you can find something. What's for sale? Let's see. Has 2,280 cargo capacity. Wow. Dang. Nothing for us to do.
We got lots of stuff. Just ask. <laughs> Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? I was told a man named Walker works here. Do you now? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his mm. debts, we'd be most grateful. Sure. Wonderful. I suggest paying a visit to the Sixth Circle, what I suppose is technically a bar on the lowest level of the city. If anyone knows where Percival is, the miscreants there would. But I would urge caution. They're not a group known for their hospitality. Spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Easy now. When Vanguard heard you might know where Percival Walker is. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong. Andy, you. Why don't you come here and tell me what some Vanguard captain wants with Walker? Stray topsider wanders into my bar, asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What do you want with him? I'm an official Vanguard business. I need him to look at something. I'm making a delivery from Hadrian's. You know, look, I even have proof she sent me. Hadrian? A woman named Hadrian sent you, a member of the Vanguard, to find Percival. Hmm. Now, if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right, Captain. If you are who you say, Supra et Ultra. Vanguard motto. What's it mean? Should have gotten oh, no. that during your oath. Uh... Far beyond? Oh no, I actually forgot my oath. <laughs> That's what I thought. You. No! Stop! Even if I did know where he was, I'm not telling some stray I don't know from a. Huh. Maybe there is something you can do. Percival's got this debt put on him by the Trade Authority. You make that go away, prove you're a friend of him and the rest of us devils, and... I'm not gonna well, pay for the debt. I'm always inclined to help a friend. I'll see if I can get rid of the debt. And how would I, how would you suggest I go about the Percival? Red Devils were the meanest marine unit the UC Navy ever had. Couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian Dusty. Made us tough. Reliable. It's why they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. No other unit could handle that pressure. 
Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. Science officer. Made sure the monsters behaved themselves around the devils. And didn't with everyone else. But it was those monsters that did us in. When the colony war ended and the armistice came down, everything associated with Xeno weapons got shelved. Red Devils included. Now... Ah. Now they're just a memory. Well... Most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the Authority and pay him direct. If you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to oh, break no. in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, and I look forward to hearing. Hey, you, maybe Hadrian's friend. Come here. Yeah. Pushing me to be a bad guy. But it doesn't matter, so I'm gonna do it.
Ay puta dalawa Eh What are the odds? Caught me stealing. Okay, balance update one thousand, then ten thousand. Ano yung piso? <coughs> Speak of the bar, Patron Collect credit from Lou Wait, why do I have bounties? Okay, never mind let me load up. I will not steal anything. Okay, I won't steal anything. I will just do what I've been told. No stealing.
Graffiti and other street art. Okay, I will not steal anything. This one is a special one. Where the are Okay. Collect credits from no. Is not tolerated for Sidonia City Ordinance 5.82. Failure to comply with this ordinance will. Not something you want to say too loud now, but good work. Here, go dig our man out of his pit. Heard you talking with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, good, good. Oh, Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. We give our research over to Octai at the trade authority. It should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the trade authority. 
they'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern-day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Awful lot of work to avoid buying a pillow to travel. Great, great. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel and I can walk you through finishing the research. Was there something else? <coughs> Do you now? Very well. Let me take a look at his... Hmm, that's not the number I remember. Headquarters must have felt sorry for the old man. Here, his current balance. I expect this won't be a great hardship for you. Piso. Hmm, then I suppose that's that then. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. Caution. Subterranean particle detonation imminent. Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground. Order may be needed. Detonation occurs in five, four, yeah. three, two, one. It's done, eh? Fine work. I am going to bother him, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. Place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. <clears throat> but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Good you're going in there, actually. Bunch of spacers moved in, not long after we got Percival set up. Don't expect he'd run out before they got taken care of, but I'm sure he'll appreciate not having to find out if I left him with enough rations. Here, yeah, the passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. Thank <laughs> you. 
This ain't for the likes of you. Last but oh! Too much heat! Oh! Give me some cover! Yes! Yeah.
one.
My shotgun, what the fuck? Okay, I'll get this. Then I'll 
sell it. Or I could give it to my companion. It's a knife.
shooting. I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? <coughs> Adrian sent you. She's... did... did she look okay? Sounds like Adrian. Watch that woman lose a digit trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, Percy. Eh? So what exactly did she have you bring me? Uh... Adrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this. Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Let's go. But first, I need a digipig. What's up, Odd? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. It's Batman. <coughs> I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. I've got some projects in the works down here, and I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the debt. Managed to uh, negotiate it down to something <coughs> more reasonable. Good to see someone give the Trade Authority a bit of their own medicine. Adrian really gave you this sample. <coughs> You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. The sample is not a fake. I created it from a terraform myself. If something, something wrong with it, talk to Adrian and just a messenger. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample. It's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was a city wiped completely off the map by terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Tal Zeti. This specimen, it grew there. Hello, hello, Joel Faster Switch. than any terramorph Morning, should. Guys. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Orders are to take you in the analysis to Agent. She should be waiting at the Six Circle. Uh, wait. Explain clearly in a way where you want to experience a mountain as she right away. 
We're comfortable with the camera. Take your boots on, we're going to stop any more attacks before they start. <laughs> the circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the service. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Wait, I need. I'm not yet. Well, okay, I will, but I haven't fully explored the area, and I need a digipick. Should I just come back and make sure to have a lot, lots of digipicks? This place yet. I think I'll have to come back. There's a second floor then. I need a digi pick. Getting some weight training in, boss? That emote looks familiar. It's like my my badge right now. Come on, are there digipix in the area? Lighter. choice then okay I'll come back to this place again later now oh, wait the lift is not working never mind Doctor, all right. I have to come back to this place and have like a tons of digipics. here later I can't fast travel shit that's good, Captain. Anytime, Captain. Hey? No. Shit, I can't fast travel. I think I should learn to let go of some weapons. Moving weapons that I would not, I would not use.
Captain Jacob, do you require my assistance? You. You're an old man now. <laughs> You're no hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Yo, what's up, Big Daddy? Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. A little more comfort than I usually like on my delivery jobs, but I think I could manage. That's... Well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? Let's get that hype on. Uh... That's, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Are you of. done with your camping trip? Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either, but I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. <clears throat> and two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. If all you need is someone to charm some higher books, I'm your guy. Doesn't sound like any runoff, the mail data you're after. It. I think you owe me an explanation. What's the archive? Uh... Well, that's about the best news I've had all day. But before you commit, I want to make sure you know the whole story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. I actually know who you are in your past. Well, that's none of my concerns. 
Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. Sarah Morgan should be joined. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. Right. You two are gonna need it. Good to see you again. Need a hand with something? I'll take good care of this. Why? What happened? Why didn't you get some sleep? Oh, this is his spacesuit? Maybe you have a lot of things in your mind right now, uh, Big Daddy. That's why you couldn't sleep. Keep an eye on things while you're gone. time and ask me cool but let's see i need more digipix let's buy that wait testing testing is my mic working test 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 Okay, so my mic is working. Maybe the tab is muted, that's why you guys couldn't hear me. Come back anytime. How's it going? Can I help you? <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. Let's see. this I think I have a souls this
Yo, stay good out there. Proud to be a UC Marine. Hoorah! Hoorah! Oh wait, I need to recruit more people. Let's see. It's my personal savior. Thanks again for the see you. Yes. Hey there. Uh, if you're hiring, I could. I guess. Hello. I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? I'm only looking to earn the going. Why is that? Sounds great. You don't have to ask me twice. No, I don't okay. think so. I hear ya. So you're saying no now, but if I annoy your nephew, say yes eventually, right? Eh, if you don't like it, that's the best I <clears throat> Working the deep mines. That is what makes big box. What a day. I can't believe Deimos is a psychologist on staff. I'm looking for work. What's up with that? I'm not asking for much, just a reasonable share. Why is that? I'm sure we can work something out. You won't find a better company to serve under. That's great, but you get what you pay for. Yeah, I hope so. I don't get it. No way I can go anywhere. So what's the other mission? I need to talk to what? A demo psychologist. God damn it! <coughs> oh gosh, I'm so sorry. That wasn't directed at you at all. <laughs> I'm just really stressed out at the moment. You're fine. Actually, maybe you can help me. I am. Um, I'm aware of what you did for Trevor. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything to Peter. I feel like I, I'm Gilly. I'm a psychologist working for Deimos, and I've been utterly swamped with work lately, trying to make a deadline. I could use a hand tracking down some of our employees and delivering psychological questionnaires to them. You can? Oh, wow, thanks. I don't even know who I've got left in the stack, but take a look at the names and track them down. When they've all filled out the forms, just bring them back to me and I'll go through them. Just tell them you're assisting Gilly. Oh, and don't read what they write down. It's supposed to be confidential. Demo Staryard's made the first major ship.
Can I help? You've got something for me? Always. Point the way. What can I help you with? Dropping off a few... Oh shit, she has some of my stuff. Okay. Goodbye. You're handling this whole captain thing really well, you know. I'm all ears. I'm looking for something.
got anything you need to offload? Nothing for us to do. If you're in good. Oh, why is my grab drive down? In sure. My How about it? Well? Good to see you. Yes, of course. Hey, the vendor doesn't have money? Wait. To sleep. So, where to next? Get up and get going. We've got the stars to explore.
You see, he did a hell of a job piecing the station back together after the Serpent's Crusade rolled through. How can I be of assistance? How can I be of service? Let's go. Return soon. Was there something you needed? Certainly. Okay, so there's 11k. Oh wait, sorry. Particle beam shotgun. Hmm. Oh, this is also a shotgun? What the hell? Wait, so I won't be using this. Wait, how do I remove this from my favorites? Heavy one in space. What's this for? The auto rivet. Okay. Shotgun. I don't use shotgun. Electromagnetic rifle. Shotgun as well. Shotgun. Air shotgun. What the hell? I have so many shotgun. A razor back. Okay. Rare pistol. Shotgun. What's this? Hmm. Advanced Kodama? I think I have a Kodama here. Side star, find side star. The Orion. What's the welder for? Peacekeeper. Oh, the my Kodama is a legendary rifle. Okay. Oh, this one is also good. I need to upgrade this. Drum beat. I have a lot of drum beat. Okay. May I be of service? 
I hope we have what you need. Oh, I have a modified fine drum here. Okay, I said this. Calibrated Eon. Oops, doesn't have any weapons anymore. Um, time to sleep again. I said I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing TFT, but I am enjoying Starfield. I'll stream TFT next Thursday then. about time. Come on, sleepyhead. Need some work done? How may the trade authority... I hope we have what you need. Wait. He still doesn't have any money. Oh man. I need to go to a different trade guy. We've detached. Let's get out of here. What if I go to Neon? Neon is the best place to sell some stuff. Let's go to Neon. Oops, wait.
But our grav drive's cracked and leaking helium-3. <clears throat> the ship can't jump right now. Um, what's helium-3? Helium-3 is a stable isotope of helium that is used as fuel for grav drive, Stashi. What's a grav drive? You know what a grav... <laughs> I'm not sure, really. Class, please, talk quietly amongst yourselves. This is important. Do you have any extra ship parts? Let me see. Mrs. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Is it a pirate? Pirates? What? No. No. Actually, I'm a member of Constitution. Actually, I'm a pirate, but not much profit is knocking off school buses. Uh-huh. <laughs> At least she could have been like a Marine. A volunteer pilot? How daring! See? The authorities are here and they'll help us. Now, everyone, the driver said ship parts should be sufficient for us to repair Ten? our ship. Dang, uh, I think I have 17. You go take care. Uh, you can have it, but I won't do it for free. Anything I can spare? Okay, no. I'm Thank you so free. much. There's Stay safe out there. There's, they are the future. Class, we'll be leaving shortly. Everyone, buckle in. Is Neon again? I actually forgot where Neon is. Is it here? Oh, there you go. Neon. I'll sell some parts here. I wonder how many poor souls who couldn't make it in the Atlantis ended up working for the fish in the Ready to make your ultimate discovery? If you don't, I have plenty of supply? Sure! I have. Okay, that's 5,000. Cash only, please. Cash only. Okay, he has 4,000. Uh, he doesn't have any digipip. Wait, let's see if he's gonna accept my weapons. Let's see. Eon, Gumbit, Equinox, Orb. XM2311. Okay, 
the urban eagle and this side star looks the same. Nova light. Okay, so I have an AA ninety nine. AA ninety nine. Hmm. Okay, doesn't have any money anymore. Okay. Let's go to Please visit store. us again if you're in the market for luxury. Yes. Certainly, my friend. Okay, it's five thousand as well. Fair advantage. Razor band. that I have that I need come back soon my friend it's always a time okay my friend hi Kagi to modify the advance man shot Great to see you. wait I couldn't send that earlier I'm excited to see how Nothing would make me happier. Ah, oh, wait. Why? I'm so confused. I hope you have a good... Day, my here to purchase some mining. Take as long as you like. It cost much. Go to other vendors. Thank you again for helping me out with the flyers. Need something? 
Then here I thought you... All right. You've got the credits. Probable weapon. The other day, Sticks, uh, I met a miner from Gazal. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Yeah, I didn't get it either. Not at first. But then I realized she wasn't a miner. She was a gold <laughs> How did I know? Because all she ever wanted was mine. <laughs> get it? Yeah, you get it, Sticks. You're laughing under that thing, I can tell. Flip the coin of life, came out heads instead of tails. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase.
help I'm listening? I'd be happy. Bye-bye. Story. Uh, let's give you some of the weapons that I won't be using. I will await your next order here. I have things for you. Anything I can help with? Let me take that.
it's my weapons. Catch up later. I picked up something you might be interested in. Captain! Over here! The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I'm a secret agent as well. Emma Clone. Of a man named Francois Sanon. One time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War. Former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. <coughs> Woe to the defeated, in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. I'm more interested in what this has to do with us addressing the cabinet. Doesn't sound like this if you're screwing the legacy. This way, Victus must have been an impressive commander to the UC. He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. 
The man caused a lot of death on both sides. So it's like me. Freestar Collective and you see military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. You're not their father. I think I'm missing two dads. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. Uh, I don't have any questions, no. Then I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Sounds like our cue. Keeping the skies safe out there? Ah, and that must make you the Captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for bringing us this information. You can imagine my surprise when I was informed you were also the agent involved in the debacle between Sysdef oh, no. and the Crimson Fleet. Gonna bite Still me the quite again. a mystery how that all went so wrong. Eh. In fact, some of Commander Iconde's few remaining compatriots even went so far as to suggest we were making a mistake granting you an audience at all. Oh no. And that we should instead strap Fuck you with irons. Fuck fucking one mistake. Tell me. It's still hunting until Why right would now. they think something like that? Listen, I tried to warn Kibwe that Operation would get him killed. He ignored me. They're lashing out. They miss command. They miss Commander Iconde just like I do. Because they know the real truth. The UC never had the chance. The fleet's too damn clever. I know. Oh no. Sounds like they need to learn to better manage the group. I need to lie this. I need to lie for this. Quite the shame then he didn't <clears throat> heed your warnings. <clears throat> but I suppose the late Commander Iconde's intractability isn't the issue we're here to deal with today. Yeah, let's, let's change get topic, to business. Please. Let's go. We have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that <laughs> of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. We're still trying to figure out what we're facing. We can't make an inform, uh, informed decision without data. We need the archival data to find a way to stop a possible terramorph apocalypse. I'm just here to talk about what happened. Hadrian's the one with the grand plans. Uh, that's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? 50? 50, 50,000? 
Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this terramorph seem at all alarming to you? I, it wiped out the call and it never saw it coming. That's pretty alarming. I only know what I was told. It's tissue match one from London man. That is worth considering. <coughs> this attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. But if there's another attack, will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? If there's a chance what happened on Tau Seri could happen elsewhere, we need to grant the request. Personally, I would wait. We don't yet have enough information yet, Madam President. If it were me, I, w I wouldn't grant the request. The archives are sealed for a reason. No, we need it. I'm uncomfortable opening ah, the archives really? without gathering more information. However, if that's the path forward you prefer, then so be it. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Uh. I suppose that does get to the heart of the point, doesn't it? Very well. I consent. The galaxy was lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... What was that? Incident. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. How am I this one? Terramorphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. Damn it. They're here. Now. There. There must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture. Later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti Xeno squad, though, is off world. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two. We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming, and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. Captain, I'm right behind
to doing? <laughs> I'm on a roll. It's blood. got here when you did. I... Yeah, what the hell happened back there, Captain? There's no excuse for using lethal force here. I'm so sorry I messed up. I did what was necessary to save these people. Or you could have used the EM gun like you were ordered. These are lives you're playing with here. So get your head in the game. Understand? Now... What was I supposed to do? Officer. The way those people were acting. I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I... I don't know. They were down at the port, and they just started... screaming. We'd tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but... but some of the other officers down there... we couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just... started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. Some Terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're gonna need to be real careful with our fire and keep that EM weapon at the ready. Let's do it. Matt's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. First of all, I had no choice but to shoot them. At least I didn't use a different weapon.
officer? Are you and this woman uh, experts? Take whatever we can get right now. We've got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad. We're barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supply. I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Those things down and do it fast. We hold them as best we can. Do you have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave mm. on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. <clears throat> Roger that. We're on you. Wants to take us on? Bring it. It's over. Thank God. If these things reached the populated areas of the city, we would have had an absolute massacre on our hands. <clears throat> Guess they weren't kidding about you two. <clears throat> Certainly doesn't feel like it. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant.
Thank you, gentlemen. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the Cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs well, consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Agreed, thank you. Uh, I take my garden shooting credits, real estate, or luxury goods. <laughs> of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the archives as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of Major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, <clears throat> for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. The cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. Nako, why kung kaawa yung ver, ano, Veron? If you're sure that's the wisest course of action, you can't be represented. I'm just some vanguard nobody. Tell me what I'm getting first, and I'll consider it. Shit. We do. In exchange, we're willing to fast track <clears throat> your citizenship upon collection of the data. So, will you help us? I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. We're dismissed. Cool Carney. Start getting a plan together for that tape. We're on the cutting edge of technology here. It's an exciting place to be. Something you need? Yeah, take a look at this. Until later. You know who this is, correct? Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. That must make you our new envoy. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second-in-command. And you're someone I've already heard plenty about. One of the few survivors of the Sysdef debacle and defender of New Atlantis. Not sure if I should duck for cover around you or shake your hand, but you have my thanks for what you did for the city, regardless. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the Cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor, accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need, and that means first getting you into the archives. You do know what the archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency, and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. You see, Freestar Collective and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. 
the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun to and hand over their codes. The Get them both already. and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier well, said than done. Killing them. Uh, no problem, I'm just going to need some rock shots and to trap and some sodium and stuff out. I couldn't agree more. <clears throat> However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar, or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? I'll go with Rad Radcliffe. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. <clears throat> but she's a veteran of the Colony War. And her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting nice. caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. The black but there's happens. also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Mm. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up, you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassin wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Oh, nice, Pera. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. It does, but there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmor is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, Yo, what's up, but what's up? not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Sa game pass yan. No, uh, somebody gave me a Starfield na, na game mismo sa Steam. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't okay, an option, man, but our spies have stated okay, there's a side okay. entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions <clears throat> or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, <laughs> don't hesitate yeah, to ask. It's free, it's a game pass. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. I was supposed Radcliffe. to do the same thing. But Approach her while I the attack is still giveaway. fresh in her Can't and her staff's enough. mind. Uh, be smart out there, Captain. Daddy? So 
so that's a main quest i think that's a main quest that i should do on the next stream so let's just do some other quest for the meantime because i have 15 minutes to spare so let's get this evaluation stuff acquire the free star collective archival code back to the grind okay let's just do the psych mission Para we have content on thursday or tomorrow well actually just thinking about it i don't think i'm gonna be doing something tomorrow so i might stream tomorrow on the app naka hero worship ka na trait hindi no i'm a bounty hunter Bounty Hunter, Wanted, at saka Neon Street Rat. So medyo bad boy ang datingan ko dito. Hindi ako mabait. It's actually ano nga, interesting eh. Kasi I did fucked up one of the missions na naging Crimson Fleet ako. Na ano ko, pinatay ko si Commander Kane ng system. Hanggang ngayon, tinamumuka sa akin ng UC Colony na, pin, na pinasabog ko yung system. Sobrang funny lang. Because it wasn't even a main quest. It was a side quest that I did. No match cyberpunk. Oh, ande. Para ko uh, ano yung isa? Street rat? Ay, de, 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 de. Street rat ba? Diba Nomad? Tapos Corpo? Meron pang isa. Nomad kasi it's more of an outsider eh. Pero ako kasi Neon Street Rat parang... Oh, uh, Street Rat ata. We can stay here forever. Well, street kid. Tapi na street rat. Pinal combine ko yung ano, yung neon something dito sa kayo street kid. Actually, on the twenty seven. I'll be streaming Cyberpunk because uh, I also have the Phantom Liberty. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Ang release niya kasi was on September 26, which is 27 sa atin. And I think that's next week, right? The release of Phantom Liberty. There's gonna be a huge update for Cyberpunk, eh? Let me see my calendar. Oh, next week pala. Next Wednesday. Actually, nag-install na ako ulit. Nire-install ko na siya. <laughs> Pag pumunta ka dito dun sa Neon City, Iisipin mo na you're playing cyberpunk. Cyberpunk na cyberpunk yung itsura ng Neon City.
high? I thought all our positions were full. Oh no, I'm just here to tell them. Actually, they have NG from the Oh? Interesting. Usually she comes down here herself if she needs something. I'm glad she's finally got an assistant. Anyway, I'm Andres. Nice to meet you. Something else I can help you with? <coughs> oh, is it that time already? Sure. So only take a moment. Let's see. Yep. Huh. Oh. No. Mm hmm. That question again? All right. Okay, that should do it. Here you go. Tell her I said hi, will you? <clears throat> okay. What if I say shut down? Oh, hold on there. Are you supposed to be down here? You could get hurt without proper safety training. Heavy machinery while under the influence is dangerous to yourself and those around you. Please always. Ah, I'm not no more. That's good enough for me. Just be sure to watch your step. Actually, I, I haven't tried Skyrim, around. but I really I'm love Sam. Fallout 4. Not Sammy. But with my not experience Sam, here, Sam. I don't do that. I mean, I, I like. I kind of like. I've been with Damos for. I haven't been with Damos for. Honestly. So what I'm saying is, if you have questions. Wait. Ilang, ilang oras na ba ako naglalaro? Um, I've been playing for almost eh, oh, ilang hours ato pero two days na siya. No, no, no. I mean, the whole game. Pero bihira ako mag-main mission. It's just side quest na ginagawa ko. Tapos before ka nag-chat, yun lang yung main quest na ginawa ko. Sure, hand it here. Kaya ang ganda lang eh, daming no. pwedeng gawin. Normally I told myself I'm just gonna no. play Starfield when I'm streaming. No. Pero if I'm gonna do no. that, I'm not gonna be able oh, to finish the game. Is that it? Great. See you around. As in Toby, laruin mo siya. I mean, mal kung mahili ka sa mga ganito type of games na mga open um, open world type Tapos decision based gaming siya Like yung parang sa cyberpunk diba? More of The progress of the story will depend on your decision uh, You'll like it I could never leave these people behind Their continued success is my Did you know Deimos makes the majority Hello of the there. ships for the UC Navy? Do I know you? If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract nice. I know she's been having a bit of a rough time, so I'm glad someone's able to help her out. I'm Leona Hawks, Deimos Staryard's corporate liaison. Anyone who deals with our office likely deals with me at some point. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. So do you want you to fill out these questions? A psychological yeah, evaluation? Are you kidding me? Gilly, I'm the one who ordered this program in the first place. Do I really need to go through with this? I'm well aware that you are an employee and it is company policy that everyone gets one. I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky for a long time in competitive games. Okay, this isn't so bad. Easy. Witcher is also good. Actually, I haven't even finished Witcher 3. I'm still on Horizon Zero Dawn. Do you really want to know that? Hindi ko pa rin natatapos. Huh? Okay. And Meron pa akong ano, Shadow done. of the Tomb Raider din, hindi pa tapos. There you go. Remind me to make myself and the other execs exempt from these in the future. <clears throat> we wouldn't be where we are if we were a liability. I know it's tempting, but please don't read the employee responses when you get them. You've got all those forms filled out in return. <clears throat> Anyone give you any trouble? Other than Leona? I heard that. No, oh, just like I thought it was easy. Most of them seem to use the idea by now. I'm not sure seriously they took it. Does this mean I work for Demos now? Glad to hear it. And thanks once again. I don't usually ask. This is a special case <clears throat> due to the circumstances. But you really came through for me. 
Here's a little something Money. to compensate you Money. for your time. Okay. Do we still have more time? Okay, we have five minutes. Let's do some other quest. That's very na mad mabilisan. First contact. Beautiful secrets. Okay, let's go for a relief run. We have five minutes to spare. At saka dito, Toby, you have to be smart in terms of looting kasi ang bilis talaga mapuno ng, ng bag. At saka yung storage ng ship mo. So like for example, tamad ako mag-set up ng ship lately. I've, I've been just buying ship instead of customizing my own. Yeah, you need to save up real, ano, a lot of money to buy good ships. Kasi, um, since may balak ako mag-build ng outpost ko, ganyan stuff, kailangan ko yung mga loots, yung mga miscellaneous. Swerte ko nga eh, kasi nakahanap ako ng random ship sa isang planet na sinasurvey ko. Tapos yung capacity ng ship niya, at least 1,000 yung storage. Eh, most ship, they can only carry at least 270 to 300 lang ang kinikarry na storage. Kaya ito swerte tong ship na to. Nakuha ko lang siya. And based on my research, this is one of the biggest ship. Ito kasi, maganda na yung storage niya. Maganda rin siya for combat. Meron akong isang ship. Yung uh, Falcon. Maganda siya for storage pero pangit siya for combat. Yun lang din isang maganda dito eh. You can steal, ano, other ships. Kaya galit na galit sa akin ng ano eh. Ah, uh, yung isang grupo, yung SysDef. Dahil hindi ako sumunod sa ano nila. Sa instruction nila na no killing. Eh wala kang choice eh. You have to kill some pirates to steal their ship. Sir, kasi hindi rin biro biro ah mahal din kasi yung mga ship eh may ma mahal din yung mga ship tapos depende pa where you are hindi lahat ng parts ng ship available sa isang lugar depende din sa place na kung, eh, sa planet kung nasan ka I'm still looking for the best planet to build my ship. Okay, I understand that. Gusto mo I'm makita yung ano niya? Gusto mo makita yung so skill tree nitong hayop na to? Okay. Hello. I couldn't tell you the last time <laughs> I wasn't breathing recycled air. Hey, let's keep our voices down. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. Sorry, I can't do that. This is the most I can give you without drawing suspicion. There must be some way we can both win here. You may think so. Look, I'd like to help, but... This isn't getting us anywhere. Sorry, but I can't afford to give you any more supplies. I can't lose my job over this. What I'm giving you now should be more than enough. The supplies will be loaded onto your ship. No extras. Okay. It feels like I've been waiting forever. Let me know, Toby, if you want to, to see the skill trees. Oh, 
operation complete. Ay, ito pala, sakto. Neon City. Let's go to Neon City para alam makita mo. Uh, para siyang cyberpunk. Can Reliant Medical do for you? Uh, got the medical supplies for you. <coughs> I see. Well, I appreciate the effort, but there was no need for that. I hope it hasn't made things awkward between the two of you. <coughs> Thanks for your help. You really came through for me. These supplies will be put to good use. Here, take this. You've earned it. Yeah. Are you level up? Something for <clears throat> Talk to you later. Jacob, hello. Allow me to assist you with... Goodbye, for now.
Captain? Need me to put something in my... Catch you later. Hey, hey, Captain. Need help with any? Of course. to see what I'm getting. Time to go? Yeah, what is it? I'll only carry... Bye for now. That is it for my stream. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll try to be early tomorrow, maybe in the afternoon, like around 3 ish in the afternoon. We're gonna be doing an early stream. And uh, yeah, for those people who, who stayed, thank you, thank you guys for staying in the stream. And I don't think I'll be raiding anymore. Yeah, Toby. Thank you, thank you for dropping by. I won't be raiding anymore. So, thank you, thank you guys for staying. I appreciate it really bad. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, kaya, ayun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll do the follow-up quest for the main mission. Diba? Alright, Toby. And for the others, I'll see ya.